So this is the Singaporean uh, team. Nurul Bazura, Chamen Zo, Nur Akila, Melody Teo, Lee P. Shan, Kimberly Lim, and Vanessa Lee is the captain of the side, and they're coached by Natalie Milchichi. So there you go. That's how their team is uh, comprised of. So almost the same uh, formula that the both teams are going in with the goalkeeper at the uh, back and then the, how they planned out the uh, wing attack and uh, the wing defense. Indeed. We saw frequent changes happening in the f uh, third place match because all the 18 players in the uh, National Youth Development squad they uh, were given a chance, opportunity uh, to play, to have this exposure because for some it is their first international experience when it comes to the sport. And here we're going to have the two teams in the court. Uh, this is the grand final, the first place match between Sri Lanka and Singapore, the international invitational netball tournament organized by the National Netball Federation of Sri Lanka. the umpires for the match. Sri Lanka team together with the officials, the coach, team manager. This is the Singaporean team stretching out, having the final chats, uh, getting ready. This is the national Singaporean team, currently ranked number one in Asia. Final few minutes. The preparations before the match. We're going to have the first set starting very soon. This is uh, the Singaporean uh, coach. Coach of Singapore, Natalie Milicic. Stella Kajanadasa, the coach of Sri Lanka. Former national player.
Stila Kajanadasu was uh, the coach of the winning uh, national team. And here comes the referees for this match, uh, Buddhika Surya Bandara, Anushka Talangalarachi and Shiranti Prasadika. And uh, Buddhika Surya Bandara is uh, ranked uh, worldwide. Uh, he's uh, in the international panel of umpires uh, in the, the B section, mm -hmm. from what we've heard. And he's in the A section of the Asian region. So something uh, that Sri Lanka could be proud of. And even the other two uh, umpires have international experience. Mm -hmm. Here's the medical officer, the manager and the national coach of the Sri Lanka team, Sri Lanka squad. Aradhitu Jatyam Thiru Netball Tharangavali Avusan Tharugi Arabha Krimatai Kattitu Sudhanam. Adhidinu Avusan Tharungi Sandahal Susukam Lebu Kandaya Misei Sri Lanka Jatika Poonu Sanchita Kandaya Masaha Singapuru Jatika Kandaya Matara. We are about to start off with the final game of the tournament. The teams playing the finals are Sri Lanka National Pool and Singapore National Netball Pool. Ilangai valai pandata chamalan tin olunga mepil sarvadis alake pata naad halikada ilana valai pandata chutu poti renda irti painetin irdi poti ilangai. Valai Pandata Aniyum, Tesia Aniyum, Singapore Tesia Aniyum, Moda Ullana. We would like to introduce the umpires and the technical table for the match. Umpire number one, Mr. Buddhika Surya Bandara. Umpire number two. Umpire number two, Miss Anushka Talagalarachi. Reserve umpire, Miss Shiranti Prasadika. Scorer number one, Miss Sudharma Jayawardana. Scorer number two, Miss Lalita De Silva. Timekeeper number one, Miss Nalika Prasadi. Timekeeper number two, Miss Airangani Jayavira. And our match coordinators, Mrs. Olivia Gamage and Mrs. Shirani Pereira. Now to introduce the two teams. Team number one, Sri, Lan Sri Lanka National Netball Pool, team captain, Chaturangi Jayasurya, goal defense. Tarjani Sivalingam, goal shooter. Asita Mendes, goal attack. Dulangi Vanitilaka, wing attack. Gayanjali Amaravansa, center. Ruini Yatigamana, 
Wing Defence. Gain Lisanaika, goalkeeper. Reserve, Akila Sanji. Shamali Ratnayaka. Darshika Vikrama. Tilini Dineshika. Sureka Kumari. Dushani Priyangika. Purnima Lakmali. Elilene Tini Setu Kavalar. Coach Tilaka Jinadasa. Primary Carer Dr. Lal Ekanayaka. Manager Tanuja Disanayaka. And team number two, Singapore National Netball to Pool. Team captain Vanessa Lee. Wing defense. Lee Pei Shan, goal shooter. Shaman So, goal attack. Kimberly Lim, wing attack. Nurul Baizura, center. Nur Akila, goal defense. Melody Tio, goalkeeper. Reserves To Kai Wei, Sindhu Nai, Chang Aileen, Tang Sing Yi, Aisha Sazila. Noor Amelia, Kaur Ting Fang, Coach Natalie Milsic, Assistant Coach Yo Mi Hong, Primary Carer Alina Trang, Manager Cassandra Ang. It's over to you, umpires. All right, the two teams being introduced and here we're going to start with the first set of the final match between Sri Lanka and Singapore. Third set, guys. And with me, once again, I have Mrs. Janti Somasekhar and Silva, former Sri Lankan captain and also the present secretary of the Netball Federation of Sri Lanka. And here it begins. And Arjuni scoring the first goal for Sri Lanka. This is the national the squad of Sri Lanka. Our strength is our strength. the tower. <laughs> <laughs> she has been Such playing for now about 14 years for Sri Lanka. 14 years. So everybody knows. And this is after the three year gap that she has come back to the national side. Scoring the second. Contact with different. And Singapore scores the second point. Pretty exciting at the very beginning itself. Contact, breaking the next one. These two teams have they played before together? That uh, the conditions of uh, these two teams. Sri Lanka uh, yes, actually, two, three days ago they played the first match here, which Sri Lanka won 65 to 45. But uh, it's actually they also turn. They also have 15 players, 
whom they are rotating to see the best uh, combination i would say the coach also is planning for the asian championship the Austria, the new zealand coach who is coaching the super side now and so is us also the sri lanka side also about uh, 15 members there 15 and then members. the coach is also trying to work out different combinations to see so, so it's evenly um, contested as well as uh, and both of them are looking forward to the Asian Championship. This is what we were expecting all the time, uh, to see this much of action here in the courts. Sri Lanka versus Singapore. Scoring a goal every second as we see, and here goes the third for Singapore. Sri Lanka 4 and Singapore 3. Sri Lanka 5, Singapore 3. Will they go for the fourth time? Yes. Sri Lanka. The goal shoot of Singapore. Back to Sri Lanka, back to Tarjani. And yes. 5 comes to Sri Lanka, 11 minutes and 26 seconds left of the first set. Another goal. Back to the wind defense of Sri Lanka. Leaves it back to Tarjani, yes. Another goal for Sri Lanka. We have Ganjali Amravansa at the center position today. Back with Singapore. Okay, goal defense. This kind of uh, matches between uh, the national squads of two nations, Sri Lanka and Singapore, is quite good for the newcomers, the beginners indeed, to learn the sport. Is that so? Yes, they, they must come when we are having matches like this. I, uh, I believe, like, you know, people we can should come, encourage the school and, uh, uh, to come and view, and then actually the live telecast is quite good so exactly. that they can see from uh, their it's school day, and yes. then maybe they can view from home. It was Hasita Mendes, the goal attack, scoring the seventh run for Sri Lanka. The height is the biggest advantage, the biggest is it was the Sri Lankan team. Uh, as we see, she didn't miss a single goal that came across her. And the GA to the GS, the shooter, and here she goes once again. Nine for Sri Lanka. All these players are from the Sri Lankan squad. They are mercantile players. So, as well, they what are what on we heard court before. at the moment, Kajini and uh, the centre, Gayanjali. Mm -hmm. uh, then the Gavri defence, mm -hmm. and four of them are from the mercantile sector. And the goal defense, uh, goal attack, and wing attack, they play for defense. Two, two of them play for Navy, and one play for Air Force. Air Force. And uh, on court, the center and the goalkeeper play for Hatton National Bank. Uh -huh. Tarjini plays for Ceylon, Ceylon Bank. Bank. Uh, and then Ruini Atigam, the wing defense, plays for LB Finance. Another point for Singapore. The goal shooter of Singapore. Lee Peishan. Contact, go defend. 
the center by Rosa by, by Sura by Zura. and uh, the goal attack then uh, all the very with the captain Vanazali is the wing defense they are very well experienced players back to Tarjana and here she goes 10 for Sri Lanka seven minutes to go conclude the first set contact, contact, we'll be having set. three more exciting ones indeed let's see who takes the lead in the first set oh. and they miss Go <laughs> is tied 10 for Singapore and Sri Lanka It's just a foot uh, away from the goal. Seems to be from Tarzini because yes. of the height. Yeah, Tarzini is um, a towering 6'9", actually. So she's she's the goal is uh, probably goal is seven, 10 feet. 10 feet. Mm -hmm. yes. Good defense and good attack from the Sri Lankan side. Getting back the ball to their side. And yes, another point for Sri Lanka. We are witnessing the grand finale of the International Invitational Netball Tournament 2018. Coming to you live from the Surutadaza Indoor Stadium here in Colombo. And exclusively from Channel I, leader in sports. Goal shooter. Lee Peishan. Lee Peishan is a young player. They are new talent. She was also in Botswana last year. Mm -hmm. She was playing well for Singapore. But she made the final, the senior team. This year. And that was uh, the goal attack scoring this time. Charmaine So. And to Tarjani. Thirteen to twelve. The most anticipating match that we've been waiting for. And we see the referees in action. And here. Yes, the ball is with Lee and they score it. Again, the scores are tied. We don't want to take an eye from this. This is the true spirit of netball and here she goes. Considering the height, that advantage comes mostly to the Sri Lankan team uh, compared to the Singapore team, isn't it? Yes, they have the height advantage. And also our players, um, are, though they also they are quite strong in their speed as well. Mm -hmm. Our center, co center and the center court is not so tall, you can yes. see. Uh, but the defense line and the attacking line are little taller than the Singapore players. Mostly the centre player. It's not the height that matters, but she the has speed. to be the most energetic player. Energetic the and yeah, the most um, stamina. They should have the stamina to run up and down. They basically run about more than six kilometers. Six yeah. kilometers in a match. In a match. And then they have to have the she speed. She is able to uh, go around the court. Is, uh, she the is position. apart from the two half circles where you can shoot the full court. Which they can go. Well done. That's Gaini Disanayaka who took a wonderful interception. Gaini Disanayaka, the goalkeeper. Three 
3 minutes to go to conclude the first set. And they score again. For this time. None of the two teams are unable to have to maintain a lead of not more than one point. Once it's tied and here Tadashini scores again. 16 for 15. change the ball change the ball if the ball is wet then they can wipe it off or change the ball for another match ball the GA the goal attack of Singapore Charmaine So scoring getting back to Sri Lanka Tarjini this time and here she goes Singapore getting into the final minute uh, in the first set back to Sri Lanka and this time it's with the center and here we go Arjuni on strike again and 18 for Sri Lanka it was a good assist pass from Hasita Mendes to Tarjani. It's either the goal shooter or the uh, goal attack who can shoot. Yes, only two players only can two shoot players. in a match. So the other that players, what they are to do is to pass the ball to pass, these two players. Yes, the center court players will have to bring, the defenders will have to defend. But once the ball is on the other side, all seven have to defend. Defend. <laughs> Eighteen and nineteen for Sri Lanka. A good pass from Hasita Mendis to Tarjini. Hasita Mendis. The goal attack. Another very active player, as we see in the court right now. This time to Singapore. Twenty and eighteen comes up for Singapore. A few seconds away from the interval. A four-minute break it will be this time as well. It's going to be a four-minute break this time as well. Yes, four-minute break. The yes, after the first quarter, it is to be a four-minute break. Mm. Back to Sri Lanka. And Tanjini, yes. Uh, And that's the end of the first set of the grand finale between Singapore National Squad and Sri Lanka.
Sri Lanka has taken the lead 22 and Singapore is 18. A four points lead at the end of the first set. And let's see the highlights of the first set. Here comes the highlights of the first set. It's from the very beginning. All were in action. The, both of the teams, uh, when it comes to Sri Lanka, Tarajini scored almost all the goals with the help of uh, the goal attack as well. Hasita Mendis. The Singaporean goal shooter. Lee Pei Shan. Goal attack, scoring that particular goal in the first set. And that's how the goals divided between Singapore and Sri Lanka. Mostly divided between Tarjani and Lee Pei Shan from Singapore, the goal shooter for Singapore. The biggest asset for Sri Lanka, whom we've been talking a lot about. Lady from Jaffna, Tarjini Sivalingam. And there we go. We are witnessing the highlights of the first set of the grand finale of the international. Invitational Netball Tournament 2018 organized by the Netball Federation of Sri Lanka and we're ready to bring you the second set in another few minutes time. We're heading towards a commercial break and we'll be right back with the second set. Explore the magnificent world of spices. Don't miss out on Spice Mag every month, first Sunday at 9.30 p.m. on Channel I. So welcome to the uh, second set of uh, the Invitation International Tournament. <coughs> Sri Lanka leading uh, 22 to 18 at the end of the first set. 21 to 18 rather. And now uh, Sri Lanka will play from left to right. Uh, sorry, uh, yes, left to right. Both teams have not made any changes. They are continuing with the same yes. Thank you. Um, players. Also and the goalkeeper, advantage goal. So Sri Lanka has uh, put uh, points on the board straight away. <laughs> waiting for the rebound. Yes. Just for curiosity's sake, Ayanti, what was the reason for the uh, referee to uh, the umpire to blow the whistle on because that occasion? You have to give a player when she is having a ball three feet uh, or distance Singapore. for the shoot. You is it? Yeah. Not only the shoot, anywhere on court, the player with the ball should be given three feet of free space, so that when they jump up, when they land closer, then the free shot is uh, given. So, uh, double points on that occasion for Singapore. 
20 to 23. Sri Lanka on the attack again. They're looking for that uh, goal shooter. That's their intention. Yes, finds her and in it goes. 24 to 20 now. on the attack once again looking for Sivalingam right yes I think this is the advantage Sri Lanka is carrying having Sivalingam out there because she has so much so, so long hands yes. to reach out she uh, yes because she by like she is 6 9 and then when she puts her hands out it's even more taller so it's very difficult but the Singaporeans are try, trying hard The Saturangi with the rebound. Sri Lankan defense has also been pretty good uh, in the first set, and uh, they managed to keep the Singaporeans out. Uh, yes, it's it's quite very difficult. Singapore is also quite equally a good side as Sri Lanka. Uh, and, uh, they are shooters also. It's quite accurate, and uh, the defenses are doing a good job defending them. And turning the ball around times. So another free shot for the Sri Lanka. Yes. One it's, it's goal off goal when you catch Singapore. the ball, you can't tap it off the hand. Unlike basketball. So uh, when you tap down, the ball is given back to the player who had the ball in, the, in her hand. And also, uh, it's like if, uh, the difference it would have from basketball uh, chance would be that there's no bouncing of the ball. It's you need to throw it hand in hand. Yes, yes. You you can bounce pass it to somebody else, but you can't bounce and hold it back. You know that will be a replay. Like like you you can't dribble. You can't. We can't <laughs> dribble. We can't dribble. We can, we had to just put a bounce pass to another person. You can't drop the ball and pick it again either. It, then it will be a replay. Sri Lanka once again on the uh, attack. I'm very comfortably getting the 28 point uh, on board for Sri Lanka. Now the, the, the goal difference now is six points. In, normally in a game of netball, uh, what would be the more comfortable uh, position, like say in goal difference, uh, so that you're comfortably ahead of the opponent, or is there always a comeback time? For yes, even even a 10 point gap is not a big difference. So there always can so be a comeback. All, yes, yes. It's a couple of like five passes. Turn around, then it will be so a comfortable margin will be around 10, 15, 15 points or about. Especially when you're playing against uh, when you have a team like Singapore competing with you, I think that's not an easy thing to maintain yes, a 15 yes, point. Yes, yes, <laughs> 15 points minimum yeah. is comfortable. the rebound and it will go into the goal shooter of Singapore and yes uh, I think Singapore the goal, sh goal shooter is also equally tall as our girls like more than I think she's also about six feet yeah but I, I think uh, uh, what she is uh, really taken into uh, taking a lot of people out that's a good uh, bit of defending by the Singaporeans Sri Lanka have to rally back mm. And they finally find Sri Lanka, and I think she will find the net quite quickly. Yes. Yes. Uh, the other thing is, like, say, what uh, the goal shooter of Singapore has done. She's taken the stereotype off because she is tall, as also a bit on the big mate side, on the hip side. So she's indicated that, right, okay, the size is immaterial if you're good and flat footed. Yes, yes. That's why. So it is actually the importance is like you should be fast to react. She makes use of her body as well so that she blocks the player defense off and then she nicely collects the ball where, the, where she needs the ball also. I think it's all about speed. It's not about the size. If you are fast enough, even with whatever size you are, then I think you're okay to be on court. Yes. And once again. 
The difference from the previous game, what we've seen, is the shooting. The shooting has been very accurate in this uh, game. It's, it's very few times that we've had rebounds or missing the net uh, by both teams. And I think that is the difference. Now, what, what would that error be? No, that was a pass intercepted and then it was off the goal um, uh, of a Sri Lankan player. Yeah. So uh, the other player was trying to get the ball in, but then it was out. Like, you know, rugby game or a football game, you get it out. Get yeah, it out it's out after the, oh, yeah. the court, yeah, then yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. has to be thrown in and then the play will yeah. commence again. Okay. It's 30-25, the lead is a five-point deficit at the moment. Uh, it's not going to be easy for Sri Lanka to maintain this. The Singaporeans look uh, very pumped up in this second sector. But then in the first, but uh, Sri Lanka gaining that lead uh, that they maintaining the lead that they got in the first set uh, so far, and again they find Sibalingam. That's what their main intention is, and they're just going around the ring and managing to get into the net. So this is uh, another point for Sri Lanka, which is 31-25 now. Good interception, but uh, the whistle blown. Yes, it's it's uh, off her hand. You know, it's a little bit of timing delay. Then it, it, they have already caught the ball. Then when she taps, it's off her hand. Like it's like grabbing it off your hand. You can't yes, grab it off the opponent's you hand. You can't. So then a free pass, the player is asked to stand beside her and a free pass is given. Sri Lanka on the move again. And they find that towering figure. Singapore. They find the net to make it 32-26. So most probably we might see a change in the next uh, two sets. Players might be shifted around because uh, this is at the end of the day not this, na both the national teams. It's the pools that are playing. Yes, it's, they will try out with the different combinations also. But if they have somebody who is having a comfortable margin, they might uh, change. But they maybe they will definitely would like to try out another set of players in the next quart, I believe. Very confident shoot. Charmaine is a very experienced shooter as well. The goal attack there. Uh, the goal shooter is a young player who has come. She was the junior player last year and now she had made it to the final of the senior team as well. Singapore is quite happy with her size and the, in the sense of her height and the, the, the how she plays. Center by Zura is also oh, well experienced. Well, the tiger taking it too casually on that occasion. And this time uh, she's on target. It's uh, 34 to 29. Sri Lanka still managed to maintain that five point gap. Uh, but as you mentioned, might yeah. not come in handy as that it is goes not on. enough. I, I, I think the coach would want a better lead than this. Good interception, good interception by the center guy Anjali, Amaravansha in the center. Point number 36 uh, for the Sri Lankan pool. Things are quite comfortable at the moment. Uh, if the ball goes into Similinga's hand. Off the hand of the Singaporean, so the throw in for Sri throw Lanka. in would be for Sri Lanka. Yes. You did mention that Sivalingam was not a netball player when you all identified her at first. Uh, in the sense, that she was a very tall player, so she was shy, and then she was not going anywhere much because people look at her and things like that. Yeah. But then. Uh, I think the, she represented the particular university when she 
we we spotted her first actually she came with the netball team but she was not a very good player she had the height she could catch the ball and then as uh, now she could just stand there and put the ball in as well so we brought her to Colombo that was about 2003 way back about 15 years ago um, then she now she's a world figure Yes, definitely She's a great. lot bigger, <laughs> especially with the height that she poses. She's the tallest uh, netball player that you did mention. Yes, yes, in she is. Uh, yeah, about in the world, I believe. Yes, <laughs> definitely in the Asian, but also in the world. Sorry, now extending that lead to 37, uh, 30, a seven-point uh, lead. Uh, two and a half minutes uh, remaining in the second set, or the second quarter, you could say. She went on down to take that uh, lead to a, a two-digit number, which will make them more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Singaporean team looks a more youngish side than compared to the Sri Lankan team. Is it the uh, or do you think the Sri Lanka team is There are a couple of new uh, younger ones in the side also, but even we also have, no, our ones also, the goal defense guy and the no, no. wing attack, uh, Dulangi, the center guy, Anjali, and the wing defense, they're all very young. We have a mix of young and the senior players together. I did notice in the first half, at the end of the first half also, which is now we are witnessing at the end of the second half, is this, the reserves, the intent of the Singaporeans, they just intend to get up and then warm yes, themselves. Yes, because once you are just seated there, your, your body tends to cool down. So they are ready in case if the coach wants to make a difference, so all the um, uh, substitutes, uh, they are ready to go on court. Sri Lanka lead by 40 points to 32. They're extending their lead very well at the moment to 12 points. With the, just a minute eight to points. go. Eight points. Sorry, eight points. Sorry. Oh, it's 40-33. Interesting uh, game on the hand now. Singaporeans trying to crawl back and again a very good interception but losing the ball throwing for the uh, Sri Lankans one thing watching this game that I noticed it's all about how well you anticipate in this game isn't it uh, yes because you have to be ready all the time Especially the interceptor pass, how we anticipate this will go this way. Mm. So I think you need to have your anticipation skills quite high. Yes, and then you have to keep on reading the game where, how it goes, and things like that. Singapore. 41 to 33 with uh, almost uh, two seconds to go. And I think, yeah, we are waiting the whistle to be blown. It is in and. Well, space is going on. Our clock says uh, he time's up. Yeah, there goes the whistle for the end of the second quarter or the second set. Sri Lanka lead by 41 points to 34 with a seven point lead. Uh, according to Jayanti, might not be enough to uh, sustain at the end, but then I would say Sri Lanka look very confident and comfortable at the moment. Uh, they are, uh, but they, the coach would be happy to have a bigger leader than this. <laughs> so, this is how it uh, has gone the International Invitations Netball Tournament 2018. Sri Lanka. Winning the first set 21-18 and winning uh, the second set 2016. So they lead by 41 to 34. And this is what happened in the second set. Yes, uh, this is how uh, the Sri Lankans went about uh, in the second set as well. They were always looking for Civil Ingham to uh, get it into that net. Uh, the attacking was good by the uh, Sri Lankans and they're throwing the catching. 
I think uh, they had everything under control. They had a very controlled game so far. So we're watching the highlights, and this is how the Singaporeans uh, came back. But uh, it is all uh, Sivalingam dominating. And the Sri Lankans always looking quite eager to find the tall uh, Sri Lankan. And uh, even the Singaporean goal shooter doing her. There you go. This is the Singaporean goal shooter doing her part. All right, uh, the score line is. Magnificent world of spices. Don't miss out on Spice Mag every month, first Sunday at 9:30 p.m. on Channel I. Exotic Sri Lankan spices have tantalized the taste buds of people around the world. So spice up your life with Spice Mag, first Sunday of every month at 9:30 p.m. on Channel I. Explore the magnificent world of spices. Don't miss out on Spice Mag every month, first Sunday at 9.30 p.m. on Channel I. Exotic Sri Lankan spices have tantalized the taste buds of people around the world. So spice up your life with Spice Mag, first Sunday of every month at 9.30 p.m. on Channel I.
Yes, you are back with us and we are ready to bring you the third set of the grand finale between Sri Lanka and Singapore. The International Invitation Netball Tournament 2018 organized by the Netball Federation of Sri Lanka coming to live from the Sukhdadaza Indoor Stadium. We had the third place match at uh, the very beginning of the live telecast and uh, Sri Lanka Youth Development Squad were able to secure the third place at the match uh, beating Pista Netball Club United Kingdom and this match which is currently in action which is to start with the third set is uh, the most awaited, the most exciting match as we have the former Asian champions Singapore and the runners-up Sri Lanka getting back in action. The score was uh, 41 for 34 as uh, Sri Lanka was uh, in the lead with 44, 41 marks, I beg your pardon, 41 and Singapore were 34 at the end of two sets, just a seven points lead. Let's see what will happen in the third set. And it began. Seems the doll are Blanket boosted, are energized after friend. the break. Yes. Looks like, but uh, Sri Lanka had made one change uh, in the gold, gold uh, defense. Surekha has come in instead of Chaturangi. Uh, and Chaturangi then, was the captain? Uh, Chaturangi was the captain for today. Mm -hmm. uh, then She's I been replaced by? She has been replaced by Surekha. Surekha. Surekha plays for Air Force. Then yeah. I think the goalkeeper also yeah. from Singapore has been changed. Has been changed. Um, I think Sindhu has Sindhu Naya has come in uh, to re replace the earlier GK. Priyanka. Melanie, Melody Teo. Yes. She has replaced Naya. Sindhu has come in. Then so both teams making only one change. Singapore comes up with 37 points. Seems that they are narrowing the margin. It's uh, just a five points lead, and now it becomes four points lead by Sri Lanka. Singapore is uh, catching up with what they missed at the second set. 42 and 38. This is the third set of the grand finale. And Tarjini back in action. 43 for Sri Lanka. Breaking in attack. The pass. As we see in football and other games, uh, penalty cards, uh, yellow cards, red cards and um, penalties like uh, that. So we Is don't it have actually a card like that to send them off or anything but the umpires can warn and keep the players out also for a couple of minutes if they can continuously do the same offence. So we didn't uh, see anything as such today? A any warning yet, <laughs> yes. Tarjani, 44th Mr. Lang. Sri Lanka led by four points, six points at the moment, securing 44 runs. And that's how your defense can attack you. Defend you from Singapore. Singapore. The young goal shooter from Singapore scoring for them and making it up to 39. As of what we uh, heard previously, 
Sri Lanka, we don't have uh, this kind of international standard courts, uh, indoor courts, as in I know it's very, very unfortunate that we don't have this. Actually, we were to have this five-day event, mm -hmm. and then we had to cut down one day as they want the court back tomorrow for some other event. So that's why there are four games in a row that all the teams are playing. Uh, usually three games or four games it's all right but then still three games and we want to give one day rest and then to have the finals so it's only the sukhdasa indoor stadium yes sukhdasa indoor stadium with this uh, yes with the air condition facility this is the only stadium that is available and this is used basically for the british exams as well as the musical shows and everything so it's very difficult to get the stadium as well Forty-five and forty-one, just to get four points. Unlike in other games, we have four sixes or three points as in basketball. Here, yeah, it's just one for a goal. That's how they attack. Probably that's the first time where Talshini got attacked. It depends on the pass also. You have to really lift it up for her. So if there's a, that Singapore can only defend if there's a bypass. Otherwise, if you really put it up, then it's very difficult for the shorter players to jump up so high. So that's why they try to stop the pass is going up. You call that a miss pass? Uh, no, it's actually my, uh, it's an interception from the wing attack. Mm -hmm. It's a, anyway, it's a quite a loose pass across the court and a slow pass. The Singaporeans are very fast in their feet, so you should expect them to run in at any time. So you should always be ready for that. And what did exactly happen over there? The yeah. Tarjini had to pass the ball yeah. back to Singapore. Yeah, the, 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 if there's a bad pass, they are bound to get those, uh, the Singaporeans are. They also can jump quite high. The passes should be accurate. The margin is narrowing to three now. <laughs> We are eight minutes away from the end of the third set. 46 and 43. Two runs apart, Sri Lanka and Singapore. And now it's just two runs apart. They're catching up. Yeah, this is not nice, what Sri Lanka yeah. is expecting at the moment. Just one goal now. Right there, top section, goal to say. Sorry, it's still like that. And that is also. That's the goal actually giving a penalty for the defense when she mm -hmm. was trying to force her way through. Yeah, the scores are tied. 46. Sri Lanka and Singapore now in the third set and six minutes away from the end of the third set. Darjini. 
kind of those yeah, kind of no uh, that she she pushed that and he pushed with the arm so you can't push the players or you can't put the arms out you have to maintain a particular the distance i don't know you without the ball you can stay closer but you can't you have to have the normal physics stand if you right lean on to the other it. players or push then it and singapore takes the lead 47 for singapore 46 sri lanka these are the two national squads representing sri lanka and singapore Arjunian this time yes it's a goal go to Sri Lanka the throw in is so it's a bad pass too high and then Once again, to Tarjani. Here we go. The scores are tied again. 48. It's going to be quite interesting once again. And this is... What's happening? No, right that now? is when the, our goal attack was passing. Mm -hmm. uh, the defense uh, tapped her hand. So because of that one, the ball went down. So the umpire oh. went giving a penalty over there. Oh, wow. No minus marks. No minus no pointers mi no search for penalties. No. So from every sport, from uh, cricket to football, football to uh, netball, here you see the differences. Each coming up with that unique it, features as such. Rewarding points. Called goals, runs. In different terms in each sport. Yeah. And Singapore yeah. scores again. Keeper who is Sindhu, I think she can quite jump, and then she she can she re, she's reaching almost to the Ajani side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At a time like this, where almost the scores are tied and there's not that much of a lead when it comes to uh, the goals apart, uh, what sort of things can I, I mean, could have been done? Uh, maybe, as we call them, to minimize um, the faults, maybe? Is that what could have been the best? I'm sorry, I didn't get you that. As in a po position like this now, where the two teams, they are catching up very fast and there's just a lead of sometimes one to two, two uh, goals and then once again, the other team catches up and then most of the time it's kind of uh, going in an average speed. Uh, while scoring uh, the gap uh, between the two teams so what could have been done by uh, the teams to have a big lead than this uh, yes of course it's, it's because it's equally good both teams are equally good it's very difficult so it's actually who is holding on the nerve and then without panicking because on court the girls players only has to decide what they're going to do so even co however the coach or the officials teach they can't do anything on court exactly. so the players have to care have their Maybe Nubs to minimize the uh, minimal uh, faults by the team, play the players, it might cause. Uh, yes, yes, we must, like, you know, they should not panic and, like, you know, and get excited. They have to keep their calm and then play. Seems that the Sri Lankan players are quite excited and 
because they have lost the lead, the, the comfortable margin that they had, so they are a little worried. Mm -hmm. That can be seen from their moves and all. Mm. The one minute away from the end of the third set. One more minute, yes. If they go back to about 54, 55 lead, then they'll be again come down. Probably Sri Lanka need to have more goals. Uh, probably at least four or five goals to have a better lead. Mm -hmm. The second brothers are never easy. They also will try hard. The rebounds are very important. Even if you miss, then you will have to get the rebounds. So this particular match, uh, does it have an impact on the international standings, the rankings maybe? Uh, the this is not a ranking tournament. So you, for that, we will have to have the international umpires and we will have to have the uh, international referees. Everything should be like in the international, international. standards. Yeah have a ranking tournament. So in Sri Lanka, 55. Two goals lead. And 56 for Sri Lanka. Yes, the end of the third set. Sri Lanka leads by 56. And Singapore is a 53. Three goals to lead, and let's look at the highlights. The International Invitational Netball Tournament 2018, Sri Lanka versus Singapore, the grand finale. At the first set, uh, it was Sri Lanka leading with 21 goals, and Singapore 18. The second set was also led by Sri Lanka, 20 to 16. And the third set, um, Singapore 19 and Sri Lanka 15. And uh, Sri Lanka is uh, 56, three runs, uh, three goals ahead of. Singapore. Here are the highlights of the third set. There was a lead of seven goals, seven points at the end of the second set, but now it has changed. It has gone down up to three points. So the fourth and the final set will be the most challenging one to both of the teams as it will decide who will become the winners of the International International Netball Tournament 2018. This is how Tarjani striked. The energetic Singapore team the young goal shooter. And it was once again Tarjani getting into the points, taking Sri Lanka, getting into a lead of three points at the end of third set. And that was uh, the highlights of the third set uh, between Sri Lanka and Singapore. The final score was 56 for Sri Lanka and 53 was uh, Singapore's score. And we're going for a commercial break and we'll be back with the fourth and the final set of the grand finale of the International Invitational Netball Tournament 2018 between Sri Lanka and Singapore.
Explore the magnificent world of spices. Don't miss out on Spice Mag every month, first Sunday at 9.30 p.m. on Channel I. So the fourth quarter, the final quarter, interesting one. Sri Lanka lead by 56 to 53. It's going to be an evenly contested final quarter here. Singapore having the first. Uh, oh, that one rebounding. And it's been given another shot. I wonder why that was. Uh, because you have to have three feet uh, given for the. Oh. Three feet leave it for the shooter, is it? Yes, not only for the shooter, anybody who is having a ball should yeah. be given three feet. So Singapore managed to area. net that one in, it's 54, 56. No, it is not 54, it's, oh. it's uh, not uh, awarded. Advantage of Church and Winifred. Priyanka. It's 57, 53, the previous goal is not awarded. So Sri Lanka maintaining the same side. Sri Lanka has got a uh, different centre. Uh, and the goal defence have come back. So a player can come back in the next quarter if he doesn't, if she, do, she doesn't yes, play in one yes, quarter, is yes, it? Yes, it, it doesn't matter. Right. Singapore also, I suppose, maintaining the same side. Singapore, so we must have a shoot our centre, wing defence. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, the third quarter and the fourth quarter, the same players. Yes. Should not on the track again. Yes. Singapore. Should not try and extend that lead. Now it's 60 to 53. Three point gap being uh, extended. So rebound. <laughs> by the by yes uh, fouled by the center so you you cannot push a player to get the ball it's a good pass so I can start to intercept but uh, going in hand in hand again that uh, three feet coming into play I suppose yes and it's comfortably netted in Sri Lanka needs to uh, players uh, in defense against the shooter on that occasion uh, yes because it, there are two attacks inside this half circle and there are two defenses as well so they they can switch yes. and turn anybody uh, to take another player also and another thing that uh, struck my mind is Sri Lanka on the attack now well intercepted again Singapore on their rampage here they're on the attack trying to close that deficit and rebound taken in by the shooter and yes 
difference has now come down to three points again. Mm, yeah. 60 to 57. Another thing that I want to find out is, like, say, once this, uh, it's been netted in by the Singaporean, why does it sometimes uh, the ball is restarted by the Singaporeans and sometimes by the Sri Lankans? I know it's alternative passes always. always. Yes. Singapore really dominating uh, so far in these first few minutes. They're really catching up on things. Brought it down to two points. Needs, uh, to find a tall lady. They're looking for, yes, that's what they were looking for. And that's what they get. 61 to 58. Singapore. Ten minutes to go in this all important final. Oh. Very, maybe the tiredness coming in now. It's, uh, it's actually the tall players, they don't shoot from far, so uh, if uh, the Sri Lankans or the Singaporeans, whoever, if they can push the tall players far away, then they are, it's bound to get rebounded and then, so if they can get the ball back, then it's good for them. So the tall players or the goal shooter mostly likes to just miss the team rather than shoot. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's it's world over. Every every t a team has a very tall player from those days. Uh, now from I played in 1995 World Cup. We had Irene Di uh, Irene Dyke coming in as a six footer for South Africa. She then later she turned for New Zealand. So from those days, even Jamaica has tall players. All of them, they have tall players as shooters. 63-59. Another yes. opportunity for Silvanagan. Sivalingham, rather. And here is uh, a chance now for... Coming off the, the rebound. Yes, there you go. It's mostly the goal attacker who take the longer range of shot, isn't it? Uh, yes, yes, the goal attacker is the ones who run and they have to cover the larger area. Yeah. So those uh, goal shooters are usually tall and that where they can they use just their height. The goal yes. Post. <laughs> yes. And the goal, goal attacks are supposed to go for the set of passes as well as come back uh, for the feeding uh, one as well. So they also can shoot, but yeah. basically most of the countries now they opt to feed yeah. the taller player yeah. rather than taking a chance from shooting outside. So you would say that the goal shooter is leg less exhausted than the other? Oh no, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not at all easy. But they don't do much uh, But then they around, don't have sure. to run much. <laughs> but <laughs> if they are under tremendous pressure because they have to put busy. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, Gandhi, yes. what is the position that you play? <laughs> goal attack. Goal attack, mm -hmm. okay. So you've been running around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 66 to 61 is uh, the current score. Sri Lanka lead Singapore by five points. Sri Lanka get a throw in. Oh. Very well uh, intercepted by the Singaporeans, but uh, equally well challenged by the centre. But uh, Singapore will have the ball in hand. So Singapore get it. Contact, 
Centre. Good defending by Singapore in this fourth quarter. They're not allowed uh, Sivalingam to really get hold of the ball much. Yes, because they're putting a tight defence on the other centre court players in between. So because of because of that, they have to pass from far. So that is being defended. Almost five minutes to go. Sri Lanka lead 66 to 62. It's a very... 63 now. Yeah, 63. Mm -hmm. Very tightly contested uh, game. The Singaporeans on the attack. Well intercepted by uh, the uh, wing, wing, attack. Uh, wing attack. Looking for Sivalingam. And yes, finds her. And Sri Lanka will take point number 67. Sri Lanka. In the fourth set. It's always nice to have a fresh legs in the centre because she's, she didn't play in the third quarter. So that she, she yes, looks, but the uh, centre who played uh, uh, is now the wing attack. Right. See, she is one of the best players Sri Lanka has in the centre court. But it's definitely better to rest her in the centre. The centre position is very tiring. Singapore on the attack Singapore, again. Singapore centre is playing the full one now. By Zura, she's a very well experienced player as well and has a lot of stamina. So still that gap, not good enough for Sri Lanka to be on safe zone. Yes. Lankers can take goal difference, Singapore. Four points goal difference at the moment. Uh, it's into the centre, looking for, and well, uh, intercepted by Singapore, then re-intercepted by the Sri Lankans. And Sri Lanka loses the ball. Was, yeah, Sri Lanka, because its uh, wing defence went offside. You have restricted areas. Yes. Yeah, this is... Uh, One more point coming up. Yeah, 65. 68. And Sri Lanka lost our pass. So Sri Lanka lost their center pass. Singapore yeah. on the attack again. Looking for the goal attacker or the goal shooter. Foul again. Ball in favor of Singapore. And yes, one more point. It's narrowing down. <laughs> and uh, Sri Lanka under pressure to maintain the lead. Singapore attacking. Sri Lanka looking. Uh, yes, and they. Yes, that's what they're looking for. Yes, they find uh, Sillingham and uh, they get a point. 69. The clock is ticking. Sri Lanka holding on narrowly here. But Singapore not giving up. It's been a very good game. And it's been a very fast game, Jack. Yes, it's very fast. I and mean, then you must see the Australian and the New Zealand play. They play even faster. A total of 135 points, uh, 36 points scored within almost one hour. And yes, this is what Sri Lanka wants. Get it to that tall lady. That's the key. And uh, beyond the safe zone. Here's Singapore on the attack again. 70 to 67 as they look for they find the wing attack and now it's goal attack into goal shooter and in 68 70 here is uh, Sri Lanka on the attack this is going to be comfortable for Sri Lanka to find uh, Sivaningam finds her and it's very rare that she would miss from that point from that position rather Takes the rebound. Singapore still have the ball in position. And they score a point. 71 to 69. This is getting very close. Sri Lanka needs a double attack. Maybe double points to put that thing beyond. Because we just have almost 1 minute and 20 seconds remaining. Sri Lanka on the attack. Intercepted. Singapore get the ball. Or is it the Sri Lankan ball? No, it is for Singapore. The, ball. the girls jumped and the Sri Lanka girls missed the ball. Singapore on the attack here. Finds goal shooter, loses the ball, but then still have it in position. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ball. Ball by the Singaporeans. Sri Lanka on the attack again. Looking for Simeningham. Finds her. And in she goes. 72-69. We're into the last minute. 30 seconds coming. Counting down. And Sri Lanka hold on. Good interception. Sri Lanka have the hold now. 20 seconds to go. They lose the ball. And now you can see even the goal uh, shooter has no, come it's actually over. The ball has to go to each third. You yeah. know? Okay. This goal third to that goal third, you can't pass. It has to touch the center third as well. So these girls with the excitement passed it over from this goal third to the other goal third without touching yes. the center third. The time is almost up. It's rebounded. Sri Lanka have the ball in hand. Another foul. Excitement all around. Singapore have another chance to make it 70-72. Uh, yeah. the whistle goes and Sri Lanka hold off to win 72-70. Well, it was a very closely contested game and I think uh, it is a good final. It's a go very good final, I would say. And then I think both teams had to play without trying many options uh, because it's the final. The first uh, game was... Um, Singapore played, rotated many, and then they were beaten by 20 points. But today they came back to uh, two, two point difference only. So it's a good victory for Sri Lanka as well because they prepare for the Asian Championship. Yes, definitely Let's confidence them good a confidence booster. And yes. Janthi, thank you very much for joining us and uh, being with us and helping us through and guiding us through, giving you giving us very good inputs of what netball is, how it's been played and where Sri Lanka is heading to. So we wish you all the very best in terms thank of you. the Netball Federation uh, in your future endeavors. Thank you very much. So there you go. This is how it uh, all went. Sri Lanka winning 21-18, uh, 2016, losing the third one 15-19. But uh, Singapore winning 17-16. But at the end of the day, 72-70. That's where Sri Lanka ended up uh, by winning with just two points. So this is how it all happened uh, in terms of uh, the highlights of uh, the uh, fourth set or the fourth quarter. And in fact, it's uh, the entire game that we're having a look now. The start, the highlights of uh, the uh, game. The uh, Singaporeans uh, were very good in their attack, but uh, the Sri Lankans holding on. Good defense by the Sri Lankans. And And uh, this is Sivalingam uh, who got in a lot of points for the Sri Lankans uh, and uh, made sure that Sri Lanka always were in front. The second set uh, also was dominated by the uh, Sri Lankans. And uh, Singaporeans. Uh, Unable to uh, really hold on to some of the passes as they faded away. And so you're seeing uh, the highlights of uh, that uh, quarter. And uh, Sri Lanka is always looking for Sivalingam to uh, make sure that uh, she had it uh, very comfortable uh, in netting it home for Sri Lanka. So those are the uh, pluses uh, that the uh, Sri Lankans carried on to have uh, such a tall uh, lady in their position. In fact, uh, the tallest 
in uh, the world playing this type of a game and once again you can see the advantage that Sri Lingam carrying for the Sri Lankans with her height but it was an evenly contested game even the uh, Singaporean goal shooter was equal to the task by uh, delivering uh, all the goods for this is the uh, anti-climax moment uh, coming to the uh, uh, final moments the uh, more enthralling moments and this is the team shaking hands uh, after keeping the true uh, uh, spirit of the game and uh, that is uh, what happened at the final all right uh, we've got uh, natalia uh, down uh, with the uh, two captains for a short interview Thank you, Kosala. Well, yes, uh, I have with me the captain of uh, Singapore team uh, who became the first runner-up today, Vanessa Lee. Well, how do you feel about uh, what happened, especially when it comes to the last quarter? You all were struggling somehow to win the match, isn't it? Yeah, I, I guess um, when it came to the last quarter where every, every point matters, um, towards the end we did make a few mistakes that uh, were costly. So I guess um, we'll learn from that. But overall, yeah, it was a good game for us. So what do you think about the opponents, uh, the Sri Lanka team, uh, their performance? This is what you expected or how it was? Yeah, yeah, definitely this is what we expected of them. I guess um, with the tall player, um, the, the way they play has been quite similar. Yep, so um, it's just our own play versus them. Yeah. What was uh, challenging the most was Tajni, the tallest player, the shooter of Sri Lanka? Or? Uh, yeah, th she's definitely a target for us, but um, ultimately we have to work our defence right from our shooters. And then, so we try to put pressure high up court before it gets to her first. Yeah. Well, yes, uh, this uh, particular tournament uh, is especially targeting the Asia Cup. How do you think about that? Um, actually, looking forward to it, um, having come so close to Sri Lanka. So, um, good competition for us. Um, definitely um, looking forward to Asian Champs here. Thank you, Vanessa. Nice to uh, have a talk with you. And uh, yes, uh, they were the first run up. And let me have the winning captain, Chaturang Viratna, who is uh, the captain of Sri Lanka. 72 for 70. Did you ever think that you will be able to make it? Yeah, uh, actually, before the match, uh, we are mentally strong and uh, we prepared for that. And uh, Singapore team also very strong, uh, but we have uh, attack for that. And actually, I'm very proud of my team. How do you think about the performance of your team today? Uh, actually, last uh, few days, we played uh, step by step. And according to that, we use our strategies and uh, maintain our fitness during the, uh, throughout the match. And uh, actually, uh, we use our strategies uh, for this uh, match also. Did you ever think that Singapore team will defend you as this? So they will give an attack like this for you all today? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we will. You all are ready for that? Yeah, definitely. We will be ready for that. Uh, and finally, we won the match. Exactly. And as I mentioned, as I questioned from Vanessa, uh, this match is targeting especially the Asia Cup and then into the World Championship. Uh, are you up to uh, the standards? Do you think that you all can make it at the Asia Cup because you all were uh, at the second place? Of course. Now we are uh, going step by step. Uh, before, uh, I actually am uh, really thankful for the uh, organizing committee of this tournament. Uh, Chairperson uh, Network Xina Anakara, Ms. and the, all the organizing committee to, pre, uh, to organize this pre-competitive tournament for the uh, focus on the Asian Championship. Uh, it will be helpful for us to get a, more experience for that. and. Uh, uh, and again, we have to go uh, another exposure before the Asian Championship. So I think uh, it will be more helpful for uh, the uh, winning goal. Indeed, indeed. Thank you, Chaturangi Viratna. It was a pleasure to talk with you and congratulations on your uh, win, the, the victory, 72 for 70. And uh, that's uh, coming to you from uh, the Sukhdadaza Indo Stadium. We are going to bring you the award ceremony and before that we are getting in for a commercial break. This is the live coverage coming to you from the Sukhdadaza International Stadium, the Indo Stadium, as we bring you the final, the grand finale of uh, the International uh, invitation netball tournament 2018 organized by the netball federation of sri lanka
There are many unanswered questions about how our country is run and how decisions and policies affecting you and I are made. But accessing information and finding answers hasn't been easy. Sent from one officer to another, you were often trapped in a maze of bureaucracy. But now, the power is in your hands. The Right to Information Act gives you the right to access public information. It unlocks state-held information, letting you make the system of government more accountable, transparent and less corrupt. It is your tool to seek information, take action and participate in governance. Be empowered. Use your right to information. Explore the magnificent world of spices. Don't miss out on Spice Mag every month, first Sunday at 9.30 p.m. on Channel I. Exotic Sri Lankan spices have tantalized the taste buds of people around the world. So spice up your life with Spice Mag, first Sunday of every month at 9.30 p.m. on Channel I. If you think betting is a battle, think of those whose life is a battle. Over a thousand people die each year due to kidney related ailments. Let's end chronic kidney disease. Presidential Task Force for Prevention of Kidney Disease. Be kind. difference. It is your duty to help eradicate dengue. Clean up your environment at least once a week. A message from the Dengue Control Unit of the Ministry of Health. <laughs> Dua, did you brush your teeth? Yes, ma'am. Puta, is your school bag ready? Yes, ma'am, ready. Did you lock the gate? Yes. Did you all check for dengue mosquito breeding places? Yes. yes. <laughs> then good night. Good, Good night! night. <laughs> exactly! Every day, everybody focus for dengue control. There are many unanswered questions about how our country is run and how decisions and policies affecting you and I are made. But accessing information and finding answers hasn't been easy. Sent from one officer to another, you were often trapped in a maze of bureaucracy. But now, the power is in your hands. The Right to Information Act gives you the right to access public information. It unlocks state-held information, letting you make the system of government more accountable, transparent and less corrupt. It is your tool to seek information, take action and participate in governance. Be empowered. Use your right to information. Don't be afraid. Dial 1990 and Suasaria will be right there for you. Suasaria is a free 24-hour ambulance service. Dial 1990 to attend to any emergency needs.
can make a difference. It is your duty to help eradicate dengue. Clean up your environment at least once a week. A message from the Dengue Control Unit of the Ministry of Health. Good evening and welcome ladies and gentlemen. We are come to the close edge of the Invitation International Netball Tournament uh, which got underway during the past four days. We are about to uh, have the awards presentation. I would like to call upon the uh, following teams to line up in front of the uh, presentation area. Starting off uh, with the Pista uh, Netball Team from UK or the Netball Club from UK. And next, uh, the Singaporean uh, netball pool to line up in front of the presentation area, followed by the Sri Lanka Youth Development Squad and the uh, Sri Lanka pool all lining up in front alongside the umpires and the officials who uh, were involved in this tournament. Once again, calling the uh, four teams that took part, the uh, Pista Netball Club from UK, the Singaporean uh, National Pool, the Sri Lanka Youth Development Squad, and the Sri Lanka Pool that uh, took part in this tournament. And also, I'd like to call upon the umpires uh, who officiated uh, in this tournament.
First of all, I would like to call upon uh, Mr. Sidana Kara, the current president of uh, the Netball Federation of Sri Lanka, to speak a few words. My dear friends, as we mark the conclusion of the Sri Lanka Invitational International Netball Tournament 2018, let me take this opportunity to thank all stakeholders who have contributed in making this tournament a great success. Let me start off by thanking the Honorable Minister of Sports, Faisal Mustafa for gracing the opening and opening ceremony of this tournament. Your presence is no doubt a great boost to the players and all of us. I must also especially thank you for supporting Netball Federation in numerous ways to coordinate this event by helping us to meet all infrastructure requirements to make this event a great success. We are also encouraged by the presence of the acting mayor, Mr. Iqbal of Colombo, by gracing the opening and closing and the, sorry, and the opening and the finals today. Let me express my gratitude to the Director General of Sports and all officials attached to the Ministry of Sports and the staff at the ministry for support extended in numerous ways to coordinate this tournament. Let me also thank Colonel Manjula Kariwasa, Director of Sports and Education, for being present to witness the matches. We are encouraged by your words to support and encourage the participation of school children to play netball all level. I would like to congratulate and thank the National Pool of Singapore, P Star UK Club, Sri Lanka Pool and Sri Lanka Youth Development Pool for your participation. And we believe that this tournament has greatly benefited. Each and every player in uplifting their professional standards. Thank you for accepting our invitation and coming to Sri Lanka. Let me also thank all umpires, technical committee and other officials for coordinating all events and ensuring fair play in this tournament. A special mention to the stadium authority, including the ground staff who have <coughs> great support in to role to conclude this event successfully. I also would like to thank all volunteers at the ground and liaison officers who looked after the visiting teams well. Let me thank all print and electronic media organization for giving coverage for the tournament, especially for the live telecast of Rupa Haini and for Rupa Haini and who were with us since your day. Let me also thank Per City and Per Grand Hotels for providing safe accommodation for players. Last but not least, my dear committee, for all the great work. Please accept my sincere apologies if I have failed to mention any person in particular and would like to thank each and everybody for your contribution in making this tournament an outstanding success. Thank you, my dear friends. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Nanakara. I'd now like to call upon the former president of Sri Lanka and Asia Netball Federation, 
uh, this is Tamara Dharmakirti uh, to hand over the tokens of appreciation for the participating teams from overseas who uh, accepted the invitation to take part in this tournament. Starting off uh, with the uh, P-Star Netball Club of UK. Can we have all members uh, of the team collecting their uh, tokens? And next, I'd like to call upon the Singaporean team to collect their prizes. For showcasing such a wonderful uh, teamwork and performance out there in the center court. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Dharmakirti, and also noting that uh, all these gifts were also sponsored by Mrs. Dharmakirti. I next uh, would like to call upon the current president, uh, Trixie Nanakara of the Netball Federation of Sri Lanka to give away the uh, prizes for the Sri Lanka Development Youth Team. Can we have all the members of the Sri Lanka Youth Development Squad collecting their prizes? Thank you, Mrs. Nanakara, and also these uh, prizes were sponsored by Mrs. Nanakara itself. And I'd like to call upon the acting mayor of the Kanamba Municipal, Mr. M.I.M. Iqbal, to give away the runners up trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, the runners up of uh, the 
Invitation International Netball Tournament is uh, the Singapore team from Singapore. The captain will receive the runners up trophy from the acting mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the big award. The winners of the Invitation uh, International Netball Tournament uh, is the Sri Lankan team and the Sri Lankan pool as their captain will receive uh, the uh, Champions Trophy from the acting male. The champions of the Invitation Tournament. It's been four days of uh, enthralling uh, netball that we've witnessed here at the Sukhada Stadium with uh, the objective of uh, the Sri Lanka pool to qualify for the Asian tournament and to take it to the next level in the World Championships next year. And I would like to call upon uh, the acting mayor to uh, close, officially close this tournament. I declare Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka Inter International International Netball Tournament 2018 closed. Thank you. So thank you ladies and gentlemen. Hope to see you with another event of this nature and to take netball in Sri Lanka to the next level. So thank you very much and have a pleasant evening.